Stayallday.com. For you, what I want to talk about today, I want to talk about y'all getting charged up, mentally charged up, and this is something that a lot of people neglect. And I'm going to explain to you here today why getting charged up is very important, and you already are doing it, but you're just not doing it mentally, intentionally, the way that you need to. I'm going to explain to you exactly how and why you're going to do that. All right, being charged up mentally means, first of all, let me tell you what it means. It means getting yourself in a mental state of mind where you are ready to go mentally before you do anything. So when I wake up in the morning, I don't care what time it is, if I'm late, if I'm early. If I'm right on time, I don't do anything until my mind is properly charged up. And I talk about this in my Bulletproof Mindset course. If you haven't taken that course yet, you need to sign up for it. It's on my website at dreallday.com slash bulletproof. In that course, I talk about this. At least the first 10 minutes of your day, you are spending getting your mind in the right space. That means you're not checking your email, you're not looking at Twitter, you're not seeing who won the game last night, you're not reading your text, you're not checking Snapchat. The first thing you do when you wake up in the morning is get your mind properly charged up. That's all you're doing. You're not doing anything else. You're not consuming any other material. You're not even talking to nobody. I don't care if you got 10 people living in a house with you. They all need to know. Listen, for this 10 minutes, just leave me alone. If you got to leave and take a walk, go take a walk. Whatever you got to do, go somewhere where nobody can bother you and get yourself in the proper mind state. And I'm going to explain to you why you need to do that. Number one, number one reason you need to do that is this. Y'all eat breakfast every day, right? Everybody eats breakfast, and y'all heard the phrase, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Everybody's heard that. Why is that true? Why is breakfast the most important meal of the day? It's because whatever you put in your body to start the day is pretty much going to coat. It coats around in your stomach, and it's pretty much going to be with you for the entire day. Why don't we eat cake and ice cream for breakfast, but we eat it for dinner, or we eat it for, we may eat it at lunch, we may eat it for dessert. Why is that? That's because of the last thing we put in our body. We would never eat that for breakfast because our, we would feel like shit the entire day if you ate cake and ice cream for breakfast because it's going to sit there in your stomach. Anything else you put in your stomach for the rest of the day is just going to have to combine with that cake and ice cream and it just doesn't work. So you always start your day with some good stuff like some pancakes, some waffles, some bacon, some orange juice, some fruit, some cereal, whatever it is you have in the morning. You start your day with good stuff because whatever you put in your body to start the day, your body's going to work off that the entire day. Even though you do eat lunch and dinner, your body's going to work off the first thing you gave it in the day. So that's why you start with breakfast. And it's the same thing with your mind. You got to give your mind clear focused, ambitious, goal-driven, success-driven thoughts to start the day. If you don't do this, then your mind is going to work all day off whatever it is you give it first. So if you start the day arguing with somebody, you start the day checking your email, and email usually is just other people wanting you to do something for them. You start the day checking text messages or checking the internet. Who knows what's going to be on the internet? Whatever you give your mind to start the day, your mind is going to attach to it. It's going to tether to your mind. You're going to go your whole day off that. And if it's something negative, then hey, that's exactly what your mind's going to go off. And a lot of people don't take control of this process. So they start the day with something negative, not on purpose because they want to be negative, but because they never thought about the fact they need to start the day with something of their choosing. So mentally, you must start today with something focusing on your goals, focusing on where you want to be in life, focus on where you're going, focus on what you want to achieve, period. So number one thing is that it's just like breakfast. All right. Same way you eat breakfast every day. You wouldn't just skip breakfast because you probably you're probably hungry. First of all, your mind is hungry the same way. When you wake up in the morning, usually you're hungry because for the last six hours or eight hours or however long you were sleeping, you weren't eating anything. If you don't eat anything for eight hours straight, you're probably going to be kind of hungry, right? Your mind is the same way. Your mind is hungry for some goals. Your mind is hungry for some success, for some thoughts of achievement. If you don't give it to it, then what is it going to do? It's going to start fasting. It's going to start starving. And the first thing you give it, first thing it gets, guess what it's going to do? It's going to eat it and it's going to hoard it. And if that happens to be negative, then so be it. Then now you're just going to be growing your mind off negativity. Does that make sense to everybody, that analogy? that I just gave you. All right, number two thing. Number two reason why you need to charge your mind up every single day. Think about this. Y'all got cell phones, right? Everybody got a smartphone. How many times a day do you put your phone on a charger? Somebody answer that question for me. If you just had to estimate, just think about yesterday. How many times yesterday did you put your phone on a charger? Some of you got your phone on a charger right now as you listen to this. How many times a day you put your phone on a charger? Three times a day. You start your day with the phone on the charger, right? When you go to sleep, you put the phone on the charger. When you drive, you put the phone on the charger. When you get done on Snapchat or watching a live stream video, you put your phone on the charger. So everybody puts their phone on the charger at least one time a day, right? You put your phone on the charger at least one time a day. How many times per day do you intentionally do something to charge your mind up and get yourself in your right frame of mind? And are you doing it every day the same way you do it with your phone? Think about that. Your phone is worth maybe $1,000. Maybe you got a lot of information in there. Maybe it's worth $10,000. Maybe it's worth $100,000. How much is your mind worth? 
it's priceless. You can't buy it. You can't sell it. You can't buy somebody else's mind from them. And nobody can buy yours off you because nobody got enough money to buy it from you. So if you're charging your phone up at least once a day, you charge your phone eight times a day, you charging your phone all day. When you're at work, some of you might be at work and just keep your phone just sitting on the charger the whole time. So it's just charging up all day. You're giving it more energy. Think about that. If you charge your phone up that many times a day, how many times a day are you charging your mind? Your mind needs energy the same way that your phone does. And if you're putting more charge into your phone and you're putting it to your mind, you, you're hustling backwards right now. You got to make sure you give your mind an objective mentally every single day. That energy that the phone's getting from the from the socket, wherever you got it plugged into, your mind got to get it from you thinking about where you headed in life. Where are you going to be in five years? Where are you going to be in five weeks? Where are you going to be in five minutes? Where are you going goal-wise in your life? What successes do you want to have? What achievements do you want to have? What ambitions are, ambitions are in your mind? You got to keep giving your mind that the same way you keep giving your phone a charge. Because if you don't charge your phone for a whole day, what happens? The phone dies and you can't use it. It's completely useless. It's the same thing that happens to a lot of people's minds. They never charge them up. They never think about their goals. They never intentionally think about becoming successful. They never charge their mind up. And what is what are those people? You don't need useless people. Any of y'all know some useless people that they just it's just nothing in their head that's of use to you. They just a body walking around. They alive, but they pretty much dead. That's what happens when you don't charge your mind up. And if you're not charging your mind the same way you charge your phone, you are wasting time right now. You're wasting your life. Number three thing, I'm gonna tell you exactly how to do this. It's a simple two two simple two things you need to do. Two things that all you can do right now, as a matter of fact, as soon as this stream is over. Number one. You need to know what your objectives are for the day. What do you want to achieve today? How many people do you know? Maybe some of you are guilty of this and it's okay because you can change it right now. How many people do you know of who wake up in a day and just start doing stuff and they didn't even think about what their goals are for the day? Like, what exactly do I want to achieve today? What's the one thing I want to get done today? What are the five things I want to get done today? They never even think about it, but they just start doing stuff. Any of you ever been guilty of that? You just start doing stuff, but you never even thought about what your actual aims are for the day. I've been guilty of it before. Before I was able to put my finger on this stuff and explain it to y'all the way I explain it, I've been guilty of that. I would just get up and just start doing stuff. And I would think that I'm being pro productive, but how do I know? I have nothing to measure it against. If you don't know what your goal is, your goal is how do you know if you're doing the right things or not? So number one thing you gotta do, I told you a simple two-step process. Know what you wanna achieve today. What do you wanna get done today? And this is not a question you answer to me. It's a question you answer to yourself. You need to write it down. What do I want to get done today? Put in your phone if you need to, whatever. What's the one thing? What are the three things? What are the five things? What do I want to get done today? You need to know that so your mind knows why the hell it's doing what it's doing. And here's the number two thing. Once you told your mind what you want to get done today, the second thing you got to do is explain to your mind, again, this is all in your, in your head, in your thoughts, why these actions are leading to me completing the bigger picture of my life goals. So yes, you got goals today. Like today you might need to go go to the gym or you might need to make these 10 phone calls or you might need to go to the grocery store or maybe you want to run five miles, whatever you want to do today. Why are those things fitting into the bigger picture of what, what I want to achieve in the next five years or the next 20 years of my life? So you need to know what your daily goals are and you need to be reminding yourself every day of your lifetime goals. And that's important. And that's a part that a lot of people can possibly overlook because your lifetime goals, you might go a week and not see anything productive anything measurable that gets you closer to your lifetime goal but you got to keep reminding yourself every day because your subconscious mind is drawing you towards it even if you can't see the progress so you got to make sure you keep doing it you got to be disciplined enough mentally to keep reminding yourself of your lifetime goals even though you might go 30 days you might go three months and not do anything that actually gets you measurably closer now you are getting closer but not measurably like nobody can look at you and say all right i can see in the last three months you got closer to your lifetime goal you might not be able to see nothing you probably won't see nothing you go three years and not see nothing but if you stop reminding yourself of the goal then you become aimless you're not charged up you like a phone with no charger you ever go somewhere like traveling or you go to like a long a, a day long event it's like a long event and somebody came and they ain't bring no charger for their phone and they walking around with the cord like yo can i hold somebody's charger can somebody let me hold there somebody got a plug that i can plug my charger into and they walking around with the cord because they phoned it and they can't use it because they, they forgot to bring their charger y'all know you ever seen that before or somebody goes on a trip maybe they get on a plane or they get on a bus they go on this long trip and they forgot to bring their phone charger and they like damn i ain't got no charger and they and now they got to wait until somebody else lets them hold their charger to get charged up 
Sorry, y'all can't do that. Don't go through life. Don't go on your journey of life and forget your charger. Are right, your charger or your day, goals for the day and your goals for life. You got to remind yourself of that all the time. So let me go over the three things I just said real quick. Number one, the way you charge your mind up in the morning is the same way you eat breakfast in the morning. If you don't eat breakfast, you're going to be hungry all day. But you just went six, eight, ten hours without eating. You got to make sure you give your mind something to eat. And if you don't give your mind something to eat, it's going to eat the first thing it sees. And if it happens to be negative, so be it. And now you're going backwards. Number two. You charge your phone eight, 10, five times a day. You charge it all day. Sometimes you got your phone sitting on the charger for an hour straight. When's the last time you charged your mind up for an hour straight? When's the last time you intentionally charged your mind up for an hour straight? So make sure you're charging your mind as much, probably more than you charge your phone. And number three is a simple two-step process. Number one, tell yourself what your aims are for today. Don't just wake up and start doing stuff. All right, know why you're doing it. What is your goal for the day? What are you looking to achieve? So number one, tell your mind what it is you need to do today. And number two, tell your mind why these things you're doing today are fitting into the bigger picture of what you want to do in life. Everybody got what I just said there. Uh, my name is Dre Baldwin. For those who don't know me, follow me here on Periscope. I do this every day. If you are on Snapchat, follow me on Snapchat. My snap is at Dre Baldwin. Somebody please post my snap name. At Dre Baldwin is my Snapchat. I talk about this stuff on Snap too, but obviously I can't do it in 10 seconds. As you can see here on this Periscope stream, I got a podcast called Work On Your Game. Everything you want to know about me is on my website, DreAllDay.com. And oh yeah, like I told you, I got a course on this. All this mindset stuff, thank you for posting my snap name. All this mindset stuff that I talk about all the time, I got an eight-week course on it. It's called Bulletproof Mindset. Go to DreAllDay.com slash Bulletproof, and you can find out all about it. You can see everything that's in it, and you can take that course. That course will get your mind exactly where you need it to get every single day for the rest of your life. It's not an eight-week hype up. But when the eight weeks is over, you're going to be able to take that with you for the rest of your life for the next 8, 10, 20 years. I can't even see all these comments. This is bright as hell out here. But I'm going to do a QA. and a I ain't did a and a on Periscope in a couple of months, maybe a month or so. I'm going to do a and a on Periscope. Actually, it's been a couple months. I'm going to do a QA and a on Periscope. If not today, then within the next two, three days. So make sure you got my notifications turned on for me here on Periscope and also on Snap. Because when I snap, I'm probably going to snap that I'm doing a QA and a before I do it. So hit me. make sure you follow me on Snap. Follow me here turn the notifications on so when i do that q a all y'all can catch it all right and hit my podcast called work on your game i talk about this stuff every single day and if you are listening to the podcast leave me a rating subscribe to the podcast because that helps push us up in the rankings everybody have a great day i'm gonna talk to y'all later work on your game dreallday.com what could you not do with more confidence less attention to the negativity of other people more focus on your goals than nothing else and not letting unfortunate circumstances slow you down would all of those help you out well, go to DreAllDay.com slash Bulletproof. Check out my new eight-week course called Bulletproof Mindset. Get started, and I'll see you over there. Work on your game. If you're on Snapchat, hit me on the Snap. My Snap name is at Dre Baldwin. You already know how that works. And I got a podcast, if you didn't know. It is called Work On Your Game. It is an everyday podcast where I talk about getting yourself into the right mindset, that bulletproof mindset, getting yourself seen, heard, known, getting the exposure you want, and making things happen in your life instead of waiting for things to happen to or for you. Subscribe to that podcast when you're on iTunes, SoundCloud, and Stitcher. Make sure you check it every single day. Make sure you're subscribed so you catch the heat. Work on your game.